हाउ टू डू वेस्ट और वट एक्चुअली इज वेस्ट कैन वी और एनी अदर कंसल्टेंट हेल्प यू इन वेस्ट वेरिफिकेशन हाउ टू चेक इफ यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर एक्सेप्टेड बाई वेस्ट फॉर वेरिफिकेशन वट एक्चुअली इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ वेस्ट हेलो एवरीबडी आई गितेश गुप्ता सीई ऑफ एम ले प्राइवेट लिमिटेड इज गोइंग टू गाइड यू टूडे अबाउट वेस्ट इट प्रोसेस ऑफ वेस्ट वॉट इज वेस्ट रोल ऑफ वेस्ट हाउ इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इन द अपकमिंग फ्यूचर वेस्ट बेसिकली स्टैंड फॉर वर्ल्ड एजुकेशन सर्विसेज इट इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट एंटरप्राइज अ वेस्ट इवेल्युएशन रिपोर्ट इज योर पासपोर्ट टू एजुकेशन एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट अ वेस्ट इवेल्युएशन रिपोर्ट बेसिकली कन्वर्ट्स योर एजुकेशनल क्रेडेंशियल्स इन टू द रिस्पेक्ट क्रेडेंशियल्स ऑफ द कंट्री विच यू आर अप्लाइंग टू इट बेसिकली वेरीफाइज इट डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट यू हैव आर जेन्यून और नॉट एंड देयर रिस्पेक्टिव इक्वेलेंस नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डॉक्यूमेंट्स बेसिकली आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर वेस्ट वेरीफिकेशन one thing that i'd like to tell you all is that there are many consultants who will be telling you that we'll get your veri- best verification done or you give us the fees we'll get it done we'll get it verified we'll get all the procedures fulfilled but what i'd like to tell you is do not fall into their traps you can directly visit the official website of ves yourself now i will be guiding you with the exact procedure go to google type ves website or ves official website there you will find www.wes.org open that website scroll down there you will find many tools like required documents degree equivalency ves igpa calculator ves igpa calculator for institutions country resources access ves if you want to understand the documents that you require go to the required documents tab open it usually the documents that you require for west verification are same for all irrespective of the university that you pursued or educational qualification from the first document that you would be requiring is the degree certificate it can either be the final degree certificate or a provisional one the second document that you would be requiring is the transcript certificate now i'll be showing you a demo like i said go to the required documents tab okay Once you open it, you'll find many options that you ought to fill. Fill in the equivalency country that you want to apply your documents to. Like I'll be opting for Canada. Okay. Applying for IRCC? No. Country or territory of education? You ought to fill the country or territory of education. In this case, like if you are going for India, I'll be filling here in India. Study completion? I'll be opting for completed. Type of education? I'll be opting for university education which of these apply like i'll be applying for doctoral degree programs name of the institution type of education university education which of these apply i'll be opting for doctoral degree programs now you have to be careful while filling the name of the institution as west does not recognize all the institutions west only recognizes those institutions that are accepted by the respective governments In the case of India, UGC is the controlling body. So West will be accepting all the authentic and genuine universities that UGC recognizes. In this particular demo, I'll be opting for Sri Venkateshwara University. So I'll be filling the name Sri Venkateshwara University. West will automatically show the list of universities that it recognizes similar to Sri Venkateshwara University. If I fill in some university that is not recognized by West, that means my verification cannot be held through west name of diploma slash certificate i'll be filling in doctor of philosophy now i'll be tapping on view requirements now once the window opens up there are few guidelines and few important information that are mentioned by west clearly you have to read them very carefully and then follow them like i said the process is very clearly and transparently mentioned on their website so you don't need any consultant or any body guiding you everything is very clearly and transparently mentioned on their website So once you are done reading the important information provided by the West, scroll down you will find a header by the heading your requirements checklist. So the first thing that we have to do is the doctoral degree confirmation. Because in the demo that I am providing you, I told you I'd be talking about the doctor of philosophy course. If you completed a doctoral degree, a written statement from the awarding institution indicating the date your degree was conferred and your major is also required. so there basically are two ways to do it the first option is please ask the institution that have awarded your degree 
to send your documents directly to West in a sealed envelope that is signed or stamped across the back flap by the appropriate officer at the institution. West will not accept documents sent by colleges except autonomous colleges, students themselves, third party agents or anyone else. So this option basically means that you put in a request in your particular university and your university will send the documents directly to West. Now coming to option number two, if the institution gives you the documents to send to West, it must be in a sealed envelope. If the envelope has been opened or if there is no stamp or signature across the back flap, West cannot accept the document. What I'd like to point out here is, there are many consultants who will try to misguide you by saying that only university has the authority to send the documents directly to West. But if you'll read the option 2 clearly, the only condition set by West is the documents have to be in a sealed envelope by a proper signatory authority stamped on the back side of the envelope. Let me tell you one thing, West also says that do not go for consultants and is completely against the consultancy services in these type of services. So if you if you will scroll down, you'll see helpful form. Your institution may require a formal request form because what consultants will tell you is they'll try to misguide you. Now you'll have to like prepare an application and the procedure will be quite hectic. You might get scared, but don't be open the official website of West where West has attached a sample formal request form. It is downloadable under the header helpful forms by the title West Confirmation of Doctoral Degree Conferral Forms. Now the second thing that you have to do is upload your degree certificate. If you'll uh, scroll down, you'll clearly see in under the header degree certificates final or provisional. This is a clear legible photocopy of the final or provisional degree certificate. You can upload a clear image and legible copy of this document in my accounts tab. Now it also requests the viewers who want to like get their West verification done. I'll request them to create their account. Like you'll see a proper and clear option as to my account. If you'll tap on it, all the information that is asked by West, you have to fill it and then you have to create an account. Once your account is created, then you can upload your degree certificate. Now there are three things that you have to take care of while sending your documents. The first thing that you have to take care of is include your reference number because your application might get lost without mentioning that reference number. Now the second thing that you have to keep in your mind is do not ever send your original educational documents. This is a very common notion practiced by fraud consultants. Now the last point that you have to keep in your mind is send your documents digitally. If you send your documents digitally, it might expedite the process of your best verification. Send out documents digitally you first have to find out if your institution has a digital partnership with West. If not, you can ask them for a digital partnership. Now, there are many rumors about West verification and there are some consultants who promote these rumors. What the rumors are usually is the West will also ask for her mark sheets or will ask for her work or training experience certificates. But like I showed you on the official website of West, there are no such documents required. Now, before I end this video, I'd like to make an appeal to my viewers. Beware of fraud consultants and apply your West verification yourself. If you found the video useful, like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel and stay in touch with us for more useful and informational content. And do not forget to press that bell icon so that you get regular updates. Thank you so much.